I want a vacation. I said to my parents with more frustration than enthusiasm. January 2020, where on one side the world experienced its first COVID-19 case and was moving towards a lockdown, I on the other hand was shamelessly asking for a vacation. Three and a half years of engineering, seven semesters, 40 subjects and the placements had left me exhausted. I needed a break. Okay, where do you want to go? Asked my parents. Some place calm and rejuvenating. I said, imagining Switzerland in my head. Let's take you to Humpy then, exclaimed my mom in return. I had no choice but to oblige. I did not foresee that the trip would bring with it one such memory that I would preserve forever. Fellow travellers, good evening. Sit back, hold tight and enjoy this memory ride. Humpy was an 8 hours journey. We started early in the morning and reached at 4. That day, We could only see the stone chariot. The boulders and the magnificent structures were a good start but did not align with my definition of rejuvenation. Quick fact about me. Before any journey, I do my research. Research on two things. 1. Where can I have food to relish? And 2. Where can I click pictures to cherish? On Instagram, I had seen phenomenal pictures of a sunrise point which left me bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I wanted to take an exact picture like that. I asked the travel guide and he said, Madam, I would take you to a point better than this. But for that, you have to get up at 4, travel for an hour, and climb 750 steps. My parents were apprehensive. But the photographers in this room would agree. Once we set our eyes on something, there's no turning back. The next morning we started at 4am. It was a cold winter morning and we had to travel in a rickshaw. It took an hour to reach there. The place we were visiting had a Hanuman temple and that is believed to be the birthplace of Lord Hanuman. The only thing that was remaining now was to climb those 750 stairs. I felt like Tenzing Norge, ready to climb Mount Everest. The first 200 steps were a piece of cake. I was like a supersonic jet going towards my target at an unimaginable speed. That speed hit the rock bottom the moment I reached my 250th step. Panting, I cursed myself for thinking so highly of me. The Tenzing Norge in me wanted to go back to the hotel room and sleep. With each step, my breath became heavy and my legs started shivering. The more I climbed, the more difficult it became. Halfway through the journey, I wanted to give up. But I could not muster up the courage to tell my parents that. So I kept on. One step at a time, one breath at a time. My parents started giving me a look which clearly said, when we wanted you to reach the top of the world, it was metaphorical. And finally, crawling like a snail, we reached the peak. It wasn't sunrise yet. We visited the temple. I set my camera and we waited. And then, the sun rose. First it was red, then slightly orange with a tinge of pink. 
it looked like a mango it was hopeful it was calm it was truly nature's delight from that point i could see the entire town i could hear my heart beat loud and clear clubbed up loved up i could feel my presence it was spiritual and in that moment it struck me in this fast moving world we want quick success love happens at the speed of light everything is a click away every target we want to tick away in this fast moving world happiness is fragile happiness is based on immediate gratification fellow travelers dreams cannot be achieved overnight relationships are not built in a day they are a summation of consistent efforts efforts you put to overcome your self doubt efforts you put to outwit your hurdles destination is beautiful but you can admire its true beauty only after a consistent struggle that is when you can truly own your reward that is when you can say slow and steady wins the race fellow travelers take one step at a time go the snail's way thank you